In this class activity, you're asked to start with this map here that you're given and to draw it at two different scales. Here the map is displayed at 1 to 125,000. You're asked to draw it at also a scale of 1 to 250,000 and again at a scale of 1 to 500,000. A quarter is shown here to represent how large this would be if you actually printed it out. Now the idea here is not to just draw part of the map, you want to take this entire map and you want to fit it into this area. The idea is also not to just zoom in as you would if you were on your cell phone and, and zooming in and out, but you want to leave off maybe some of the detail so that it looks good to someone that's just looking at all three of these maps together. So let's talk about how you can do this. One way is that you can just print out this page and draw it with a pencil. Um, if you want to do it online or in software, you could open up, I would suggest a program like um, PowerPoint. I'm just going to open up a blank PowerPoint document here. I'm going to get rid of the this and this. And then I'm just going to uh, copy it here and paste it into here. So once you have it in here, now you want to think about how you want to um, fit all this information in a simplified manner into both of these. So for example, let's say the uh, town of Saul here. If you wanted to uh, make that on the smaller map, maybe you don't need to add all of the roads through the town at that smaller scale, and maybe you don't need to capture all of the details of the outline. So perhaps then you would just put it on as a small rectangle. Of course, you can change the color of the fill and the outline until you, uh, and maybe you want to reposition that a little, get rid of the shadow. And now you have that on the map. And perhaps here you want to put on this box again, or maybe you even want to make it something, uh, something smaller, but I'm just going to, now that I have this, I'm going to kind of paste it and I'm just going to, um, make it, oops. I'm just going to make it half the size again as I put it onto this map. If you hold the shift key down, you can just scale the whole thing until it's about half the size, and then you can put it on this map where you want here. So that you're going to have to make some design decisions. For example, do you still want to keep these uh, bridges in at this very small scale? Would they even show up? Or do you just want to have a line that represents the railroad. Can you still put on these cross lines to indicate it's a railroad, or um, is that going to make is that going to make this this sort of map too cluttered? So um, you're going to just continue doing those sorts of things until you have all of the elements here, the shoreline, and once again, you don't have to include every single island if it doesn't fit. You just want to make something simple, the rivers like this river this river, this river, obviously some of these rivers, this river, this river, and this river. Obviously some of those rivers are more important than the others. Um, once again, this road, these roads here, and the railroad. Um, this other little town of Adels here, maybe that doesn't even need to be on this map here because sometimes uh, smaller towns disappear off of um, less detailed maps. So you're gonna want to um, do all of those things until you've finished these two maps. And um, th that's the purpose of this, to make more generalized maps, starting with this map here of these other two here. So just to put in uh, two other things, if we want to put in a line for the railroad, I'm going to use this tool here. And um, maybe at this scale here, we, maybe we still have these, that little bend in the railroad there. Well, depending on how well you can draw, maybe. But we want it to go down towards Sawels, but not through. And maybe now we don't uh, we don't show that bridge there. And of course, you can put these things on in different colors or different styles in order to uh, in order to make it look the way you do. So I'm going to put this on as kind of a whoops, not a medium fill, but uh, no fill, medium gray line, and once again, no shadow. Okay. And then you'll keep, uh, you'll keep putting these other things on. Maybe by the time you get to the scale here, you, you lose this little bend there because that's too hard to draw on. So the next one you put in, maybe, uh, 
maybe just comes straight down here. Bends here, goes around, comes down like that. So think about how you would like to simplify this math um, and generalize it. And then um, you want to put all of those elements on again, once again. So that's going to include the shoreline, the roads, rivers, towns, and railroad. And I'll put islands here too. Sometimes you can simplify islands by combining them or by getting rid of them, but think about what you want to do in order to fit in all the most useful information on these two different scales of maps.